But so welcome everybody to the Banjo Tui Challenge Series. This is the playoff round. So we finished the fir first eight races, and our top four finishers were, of course, Gogo, GDO, Emo, and iCup. So uh, those guys will be playing in the playoffs, vying for that number one spot and all those fantastic prizes, those MS Paint drawings, potentially. Uh, so today's race is going to be Gogo versus GDO. Uh, we're going to see an Emo versus iCup tomorrow, probably. Uh, followed by a grand finals match and a third place match. So we got four more races to look forward to. Uh, today's being the first. Um, and yeah, I mean, are, are each of you guys ready to get started? I'm ready. Yep. All right. Can we restart the timer now? Oh, yeah, you can restart the timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Are you guys both ready to start? You got your pictures ready to go and everything? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> and they're off. And they're off. Uh, so everybody in the chat, you can press exclamation point info if you want to see uh, what we got going on for this race. And they're off. Uh, so this this race is going to be uh, something that I've seen in a couple other games, namely Ocarina of Time. This is called Reverse Boss Order. And as the name suggests, these guys have to kill all the bosses in the reverse intended order. Uh, Klunga 1, as far as I know, cannot be skipped in any way. So we do allow them to kill Klunga 1 first. But after Klunga 1, every other boss in the game is going to be killed in, uh, in the opposite way that you might expect. What that means is, the next boss after, after uh, Klunga 1 is Hag 1. Is Hag one, so this is going to be uh, really interesting. Um, it's there's going to be a lot of a uh, lot of setup to do in the middle, uh, or like in the beginning to get to Hag one, and then it's just going to be boss rush from then on. Kind thunderstorm, kinda. Uh, although Jiggy Wiggy special is allowed, uh, this would have been a cool challenge to do without Jiggy Wiggy special, but 45 Jiggies is just kind of way too much. One important thing that these guys have to keep in mind is they have to be very smart with their DCW. Because the only way to get to Hag 1 before you defeat Klungo 3, the only way is a DCW to credits or character parade. So the general outline of what these guys are going to want to do is, you know, do their intro levels, do their MTs, GGM, whatever. Set up DCW to credits, but then they need to tag the warp pad that's up there and drop down because they don't have Clockworks yet. Tag that warp pad that's that's up there, drop down, learn Clockworks, and climb back up to get to Hag One. And we're gonna hope neither of them forget that warp pad. That's a very key warp pad. Otherwise, they're gonna have to fight Klingo Three before they fight Hag One, which would be disaster. Another kind of cool tidbit about this challenge is uh, they, since they're spending their DCW on getting to the top of Gun Chamber, they don't have a DCW for Weldar. And the consequence of that is they've got to open the door to Weldar. So they're, they're going to spend a good amount of time in GI. Anyway, so that's... That's enough about the challenge. We'll let the runners speak to that from here on out. Gogo, of course, taking a little bit of a lead since GDO missed his uh, his quick Klunga 1 kill on Green Potion. So the order that I picked, the, the dragons need to be done in the order on the image. And the reason that I picked that particular order for the dragons is because it's opposite the order that the bosses are, are in the boss menu. Now, I didn't strictly adhere to that. Um, I put Klungo 2 roughly in the middle. You know, I put Klungo 2 after Terry, but before Fak Fak. Because that's kind of where Klungo 2 would sit in a casual run. And uh, normally, the Klungos are front-loaded in the boss menu. We can see... Uh, both competitors going for the goggles. This is a very smart move. 
because really they don't have anything to do in the beginning. They're, they're just beelining straight to uh, to Hag 1. Super Batty makes it so that all of the enemies in the game move twice as fast. Um, now I don't think it really applies to most of the bosses. I could be wrong though. I think it'd be really fun to see like a super fast uh, old King Cole. But I don't think we're going to see that. I think somebody said something that it applies to bosses. Or to, to Klungo at least. Somebody was mentioning that they, they had to chase down a, a Klungo that got away from them. But it's just flavor. <laughs> the first divergence we see is Gogo's uh, going to do the the empty puzzle now. Whereas GDO is going to go straight into GGM. Gogo's probably just doing this so he has more time to think about what he wants to do. GDO, I think, already has an idea of, of what he needs. GDO is collecting notes in uh, on Plateau here. Which I think is his plan is... Uh... Oh, he didn't get Red House trouble, I see. He wants to make sure he's got the 85 for build drill that he needs. And that was a really sick GGM early from GDO. Really quick. You can see him making his way to Green Pile. Probably going to collect those underneath Prospectors. And start up a DCW. Or ahead for the GGM Trouble. This works. This is not a super noty challenge. Um, taxi Pack is the highest required move, the highest note count required move, because these guys need Taxi Pack to open the door to Weldar. So that's only 405 notes. So notes, notes aren't crazy important right now. Hmm. I feel like this TNT is further away than the other one, but maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> now here comes a decision point though. Because GDO has to do Old King Cole eventually. So the question is, are you going to set up any amount of King Cole now? Or are you going to wait until your next trip to GGM? What's going on, Bex? See, Gogo's making his way to GGM first as well. Can't quite tell if these guys are, uh, if one's ahead of the other yet. We have to wait until GDO makes his way to the MT puzzle. Wow, Gogo with a really fast uh, GGM early as well. That was pretty sick. We can see that GDO is opting to grab this warp pad first, at least. And this globo. I think he's going to go mumbo now. Yeah, mm, did GDO... I, I wasn't looking at... GDO didn't grab this, the train station warp pad, did he? Yeah, Bex, commentary's open right now. If you'd like to join, I'd love to have you. So we're going to see if uh, if GDO uh, <laughs> got that war pad or not. I, I didn't quite see. But Gogo, on the other hand, making his way straight into the detonator. Going to set up his DCW now. Probably dip as soon as he's done. Grab Bill Drill and dip. Wow, Stardew Valley. Real taxing work, huh? <laughs> yeah, G GDO just says, yeah, I'm, I'm heading over there. Take it the slow walk. Let's go on, Tnarg. <laughs> yeah, Lionaya. Um, reverse. 
Oh, Reverse Boss Adventure, gotcha. Yeah, it's, it was called Reverse Boss Order in the, uh, the Ocarina of Time Lotad that I saw it. Reverse Boss Adventure, that's, that's a good name for it as well. Well, the thing, Dango, is GDO hasn't set up his DCW yet. Greetings. Greetings. Joined by my co-commentator, Bex the Knee. <laughs> now, Bex, how would you tackle this challenge? What are you thinking about right now? Well, I mean... First thing, you probably wouldn't, no matter what, have to DCW to hag one, just so that you don't have to... Well... Well, you gotta be very, very careful. You don't want a DCW directly to hag one. The problem with DCWing really? directly to Hag 1 is you don't have Clockworks yet. True. So how are you going to get Clockworks? Well, you could take the Any% percent route. And I would say go I would through do Any%. Percent. But then you got to go through Klungo 2. And uh-uh-uh, that's oh. not allowed. It's not allowed. It's... Right. Jiggy Wiggy Special does open up the Hag 1 door. I could have been mean and made them do... Uh, the oh, it had does. one early, but oh, I missed that. I, I don't want to miss the Jiggy Wiggy special being allowed. Oh, okay, so that changes things. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so now, Gogo on the other hand did did set up DCW, and he's making his way to Mumbo right now, and he'll be able to to save quit out of this. Uh, I would assume you probably want a DCW like Tamingi, so then that way you don't have to fight him right away. You can come back later. Well, here's the now other problem, playing? Bex. How are you going to get to Hag 1 before you fight Klungo 3? Hmm, mm. question marks. That is a good question. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't think Gogo knows Hag 1 early. I don't think Gogo's ever done any route that would have required him to do that. I hope in the future somebody finds a way to like smuggle the detonator out of uh out of uh GGM and then do detonator levitation to the top of uh Cauldron Keep. Or somebody could find, like, a sack pack levitation at the top of Cauldron Keep. That'd be sick. That would be sick. be hilarious. I don't know how sack pack levitation works. Like, there's no way you can use detonator levitation to get enough height. No. But I don't know how sack pack levitation works. I think you can go as high up as you want. Oh, is it purple stuff, not water? I would have thought so. Anyways, GDO, uh, GDO saved quitting out of there, making his way out of GGM. Headed straight for the empty puzzle now, and uh, after he completes that, we're going to get a good sense of who's ahead. But, I mean, Gogo's basically done everything that GDO's done already. So I do think Gogo's solidly ahead. Come on, Dozium. Gedeo will be the first to his grenade eggs. Now, Bex. Yes. What what do you expect these guys to be doing in uh, Mayhem Temple, the next level on their list? Uh, shoot, I just got here. Um, <laughs> I miss I missed the beginning of it. Well, uh, I gotta ask you for Hag One. What do you need to be able to do Hag One? Well, I mean, you need Clockworks. You need obviously. Clockworks. You need at least two. Um, 
I mean, they're, they've got fire. You can do it with fire eggs, but, I mean, ice eggs is faster. Ice eggs is faster. That's nice. Um, There's a very important move that you need that's not clockworks. And it's interesting. If you DCW to hag one directly, you don't need this move. But remember, these guys can't DCW to hag one directly. They gotta walk in through the door. What is it? Important move? There's a move you have one? to learn to even walk into the Hag 1 fight. Clockworks is one of them, but there's another. To walk in? To walk in, yep. Gold feathers. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, the, the answer is... Um, What's it called? Briegel Blaster. If you don't have Briegel Blaster, you can't even make it into the loading zone. You know, Grunty oh, or I think Jam oh, Jars okay. actually stops you and says something like, wow, wow, you can't take on the witch without a way to do this or something like that. I don't know what he says. Yeah, they need it for targets in anyways. But they do need to get it. They're coming back to, to MT at the very end to fight targets in. That's um, interesting. I didn't know that. Wait, Rico Blaster. If you DCW straight to hack one, then you just have the move. Right, that's why I was I don't like, know why, wait a but minute, that's, but it's because it's an E percent. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But if you do it the normal way, it, it says you need to come back with this move. Interesting. So where do we think that Gogo and GDO are going to DCW to? Well, the only uh, place that they can DCW to is credits. If they don't DCW to credits, then they're taking a one hour mm -hmm. time penalty somewhere. Okay. But anyways, Gogo's making his way to Jade Snake Grove, going to input his codes. Oh, that's right, because you do... Yes. Credit. Good old credits, because you can just <laughs> skip Klungo 3. Yeah. So, what, what? credits, they'll walk to the top, walk to the Hagwin loading zone. They won't enter. They'll hit the warp, drop yeah, down, the warp mm -hmm. and then they can go collect their... Uh, they can go collect their clockworks and come back up. Right. Uh, I don't think Grip Grab is necessary for this run. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. That's a good call. Pikachu. Um, since these guys do have to open the door to Weldar, you know, to even get to it, they, you know, climb the ladder and grip, grip grab across the ledge. GDO's taking the, uh, the downward route down MT, and he's collecting uh, as many notes as he can. So he can have enough for Clockworks by the time he gets there. You know, Ring Rush, I wouldn't have expected that. Because everybody uses Grip Grab in the 100% route. Is doing it without Grip Grab faster? Oh, those cats. Yeah, they're going to be quick now. As a great man once said, am I watching Conditioner right now? Oh no. <laughs> it's Gogo who said that. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyways, uh, Gogo... Gogo quick out of MT. Making his way to Witchy World. Mm -hmm. Now, what are, you, what are you hoping to see these guys grab in Witchy World? It's two very important things I think they need to do here. Uh, well, they need split up pad in order to get to... Um, JRL. Yeah. So there's three very important things that they should get here. 
Oh, th oh, that wasn't the. Th that was that, okay. that that is a very important thing that I had forgot about. And the other two. Well, hmm. they need split up. They'll need a bunch mm -hmm. of nodes. They'll need to DCW. Yes. They need to set up DCW yeah. to get the tag one. But there's a move in here. There's a move that they really want to get, and they want to get it now. Which one is it? Uh, my guess is maybe pack whack. They're gonna need pack whack. Okay. Not for Hag One, but why? Why might they want pack whack? So early. So early. Hmm. There's a couple of reasons why pack whack is very useful in this run. Uh... Well, I'll tell you. The first is what Sunderstorm is uh, has mentioned. Is it's very oh, useful to get across the gap for Klungo three. Uh, oh, right, right. I was just looking at the bosses, too, but he, they also need, um, um, oh gosh, I'm blanking on the name. Come on, you got it. Um, uh, an egg or, oh, it's the, the flying, flying and shooting the eggs. No, they don't need airborne. Oh, well, yeah, yeah they, they will. they do for patch. They'll need for airborne patch. for patch, you're right. Yeah. They just don't need it until right before they do patch. But what's the other use for pack whack? Some people in chat have got it. Oh, there was another one other than the jumping across mm -hmm. to get to Klingo 3. Um, Gogo's hmm. learning pack whack right now. Although he didn't set up DCW yet. I think he's just going to set it up from the bottom. I feel like a uh, a uh, gondola DCW would have been very helpful here. So that yeah. Gogo could have saved quit out of Witchy World here. But yeah, so the other use for pack whack that is mandatory for this run is for the batteries. Because you need to open Weldar's door. You need to open right. the the way to... You know how there's like the the room with the electromagnetic... Or with the magnet that mm -hmm. you EMP and you press yep. the switch with the washing machine? Yep. You need a battery to open that door. Yes. So Packwag is 100% required for this run. Which also means taxi pack. It does also mean tax pack. That is going to be the most notes. That saving they need. the babies. That's does, the most important. Does part. not mean saving the babies. If, <laughs> if either of these guys save the babies, then they are going to lose. <laughs> yeah, I guess while these guys are in Witcher World running around collecting notes, because they do want those notes, they need 315 notes pretty early on to grab clocks. Mm -hmm. Might as well collect the uh, the tickets to fight Patch. Yes, correct. Oh, that's is that gonna work? Oh my gosh, that yeah. worked! Oh yeah, Hello? here let me uh, let me stream for you oh, in yeah. Discord. Yeah. Can you see what I got going on? Yeah. Perfect. I didn't know that you could shoot the uh, grenade egg that far to the left. Yeah. Now we're gonna see how GDO does it. A good question is, DCW now or later? Gogo says I'm not gonna DCW yet. No, Ring Rush, I didn't. Cole's at Cole's partying right now. <laughs> Cole, Cole's doing a GDQ light, um, so he's he's been kind of out of this. But send it, send it my way. I've already got plans for what I'm going to do for these four races. But if I like your idea better, then I'll definitely substitute it out. Gogo's going ahead and opting for double air. Now that's a thinker. That it is. Interesting. Whereas GDO's save quitting out here makes me think that he wants to DCW now. GDO didn't get back black? Oh. And it's it's fine. When he goes to do Klungo 3, he's just got to do it the intended way, where you take Banjo-Kazooie across, mm -hmm. and you, like, lower the bridge. Although, I don't know how easy it is to get across as Banjo-Kazooie. I think if he, he... He'll just drop down from the middle. I hope. 
We'll see. But anyways, I like what Gogo did. Not DCWing immediately. He's going to go ahead and open the way to JRL and HFP now. Collect some easy notes along the way. Oh, you're right! It's it's the solo banjo and solo kazooie switches that lower the door. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So GDO's going to be learning uh, sack pack, I guess. It's the only way he's going to get across without pack whack. Dude, you how are you gonna use snooze pack? How does that work? Oh, interesting. <laughs> that's that's funny. Gogo's learning ice eggs. Ice eggs are required for the run. They are required for Chili Billy, and oh, because right, of right, that, right. Uh, it'll make his hack one easier. It will. Gidia, the first to gun chamber. Although he does not have Clockworks yet, so we're not going to see the fight yet. I also didn't peep if he grabbed um, Wriggle Blaster, but I think he did. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I missed that. Anyways, Geo hitting the warp, very important. Needs to find the notes for Clockworks, though. I think he might have them, because... There's 320 available to you in the first three levels. He didn't grab Van, so he's probably sitting on 300 right now. Gonna activate the shock spring pad so he doesn't have to do any PTS wildness. Or is Gogo's in here to collect some notes? Probably collect some notes, get Talon Torpedo just so he has it. Talon Torpedo's not. I don't think there's anything you need Talon Torpedo for in this run. No, no, I don't think so. Cause you you just go on the back end, uh, Klungo two. Exactly. Your wasteland. Now, GDO, I hope hits these silos. Very important to hit these silos so you can make the trip back. Gogo's learning uh, underwater egg game here. Necessary for the fact fact fight. Mm -hmm. Jam Josh just doesn't let you through the the locker if you don't have it. GDO, the first with Clockworks, making his way, uh, making his way back. Nice. Gonna be the first one to beat Hag One. And the great thing is, is even if he dies, it's okay. He can come back. Yeah. Yeah. GDO basically just... did a, a Cheeto percent run here. Ooh, he missed Ooh. the pole. Oh. That beehive. Gogo successfully identifying that he needs at least 405 notes, so he's still collecting some, some good notes. What we doing, Gogo? He's got double air. I'm really hoping that we don't see him fight Fac Fac. As BK with double air. It's possible. It's just sickening. Ooh. Octopus. Maybe just get in the war pad, maybe. You can't defeat the octopus, unfortunately. So I don't think he's quite a boss. Okay. Yeah, he hits the warp so that he can get uh Just get down here later when he wants to fight Fac Fac. Mm -hmm. And since he didn't get Town Torpedo, I think he's just gonna opt for the sub. So maybe Double Air was just a comfort, a comfort pickup. I was say, why did he get Double Air? But I guess yeah, mm -hmm. you're not comfortable with it. Yeah, potentially Ring Rush.
Although Go Go has run any percent in the past, back when it was a 45 right. minute category. So I would hope he'd be able to do it without <laughs> a double air. Yeah. Now GDO doesn't have ice eggs, so we're gonna see the uh, the fire egg grenade egg strat here. Oh well, there's <laughs> there's your first clockwork shot at Hagwind. <laughs> GDO hit R one too many times. Probably hasn't done this fight this way in a long time. See, Gogo -Go made his credits warp. Nice. Oh, really good grenades from GDO there. That was good, yeah. Man, I had a run die to standing on the drill. I had one health and I was standing on the drill and somehow a mortar still hit me. I was standing oh in like that gosh. one spot that's just... Yeah. That just can happen. See, Gogo with a little bit of parkour. Doing the, uh, the mm -hmm. jump to the pull to the button. That combination there. And Gogo -Go 2! Gonna get the silos. Very important. I feel like that style would be very easy to forget. Mm -hmm. You could stand there like a dope, feeling like you uh, need to go get uh, the springies to get back. <laughs> That's funny, Ring Rush. True. Because this, this is technically could be legally submitted as a Cheeto percent run. Gogo continues to collect just a few more notes before he makes his way back to Hag 1. <laughs> Gogo did the exact same thing that GDO did, where he like bonked his head mm -hmm. on the pole and couldn't get up. Some good stuff from GDO here. Mm -hmm. You know, minus that one clockwork he shot, you know, trying to you know get his bearings, refamiliarize himself with the fight. It's been a really good hack one fight from GDO. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he's dead. Now we are going to see this Hag 1 cutscene two times total on our screen, which is the same <laughs> as uh, oh. <laughs> one any percent run. Ah, oh, GDO. Yikes. Just stop jumping. Yeah, you really don't want to die here. Dying here no. is... Actually, dying here is not the worst thing in the world. No, like I, that's why I yeah. said earlier, if he okay. dies, you can always redo it, because they already used their DCW, so they're good. Like, right. They can do it again. They've got the, uh, the, the silos. Mm-hmm. All right, so chat, let's take your bets. Is GDO going to split up after Hag 1 and try to make it across the gap? Or is he going to remember that he needs Packwag before he splits up? What do you think, Bex? Uh, no, I think I, I think he's going to split up and then realize that he doesn't have Packwag to get across. I, I think he's going to go straight to Witchy World after this before he splits up. I think he already knows he made the mistake.
Looks like everybody except for me has no faith in GDO, though. <laughs> everybody just hoping he's going to fall flat on his face. He's also really far away for this phase here. That is really far. Oh, no, and that ugger. Oh. Health, yep. Good. Yeah, is Haglin so really the away. best time to think about your route? I mean, yes it is, because it's an auto-scroller, but I feel like most people are focusing, you know? Okay. We did good. Now it's... Now it's Gogo's turn! <laughs> Doing it with Ice Eggs. Doing it the lame way, but... All right, yay, the day is saved. Huzzah. We're going to see him uh, walk out of Jingling's castle oh. here. <laughs> I think I Gogo go was getting rid of his first <laughs> clockwork, yeah. maybe? Yeah, he was. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Congratulations on GDO getting 26th place in Cheeto Percent. It's pretty sick. I mean, yeah, more or less, Sunder. I mean, they, they have to go and make a detour to get taxi packs so they can do all the, the battery stuff for Weldar. Ooh. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward category. Gio's heading to GGM now. I think he's... It's the faster way for him to get to Witch World, yeah. he He's getting pack whack. Oh, I missed it. Did he even do it? He I, I don't think he, he did. He didn't, no. I think he just knew. Dang. Although I don't, I don't know if this is the fastest way to get to Packwack. <laughs> Maybe he didn't grab the Pine Grove silo. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Airborne Egg Game's a good pickup here while you're on this side of the level. And now he never has to come back. True. Would have been to, would have been good to grab this uh, as he set up BCW though, because he was right mm -hmm. next to it. Now where's he gonna warp? Oh, behind the big top. Yeah, that's probably faster than just walking. Nah, I disagree, Dozium. This is stuff he should have done while he was already in Witchy World before fighting Hag One. What's going on, right, Tyson? Rock Tyson, I should say. Yeah, maybe he was thinking he wants to save Quit out of here? I don't know. That's why I think doing a gondola DCW would have been best. Because then you could, you know, grab Packwack and save quit on it. Nice bonk. Is he in front of the tank? He is. Yikes. I mean, you can move around. But you can yeah. This is not my favorite angle to try to shoot Grunty from. No, no. But it's, I mean, he'll make it work eventually. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard because he's got to shoot all the way to the back to the mm -hmm. clockwork. Yeah. That was a good shot. Yeah, true. Dango, maybe. Because we all know that Super Batty is the most important cheat to turn on. Oh, I guess Super, super Batty actually kind of makes Hag 1 a little bit harder because the Uggers run faster. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't even think of that. But GDO, newly equipped with Packwack, now making his way over to uh, the Klungo 3 fight. GDO does have a slight lead in terms of actually, you know, fighting his bosses. Mm -hmm. But Gogo has done a lot more setup. 
in terms of opening up uh, Clifftop and collecting more notes. I don't think so. I don't know at all. I've played with Super Baddie once ever, and it was for this challenge, like testing it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I would guess not. That's not even true. When I tested this challenge, I didn't play with Super Baddie on. All right, it was the, the Snapdragon challenge. Yeah, this challenge originally I was going to do way, way earlier, but uh, I didn't. So I tested it like way long ago. What kind of ones do they have? I don't remember. Do you remember what color? Oh. Okay. GDO had green. I remember that. Okay. I, I don't remember. Gonna be blue. I don't remember Go Go's. Red. Mm, you suck again. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I really want to see how Super Batty affects the bosses. Like, does Terry fly faster? Does Chili Billy move faster? I don't know. Or shoots faster? They don't attack faster. They just move faster. Oh, uh, it's just movement. Interesting. Imagine if it was attack. Oh my yeah. gosh. Tag one being harder too. Oh. <laughs> All right, what about Gogo? What potion do you think he's going to get? Gogo? Oh, wait. Oh, you said you didn't know which one he had. He had either one? blue or green. I don't remember which, though. Um... I'm going to say red. All right. All right, and, and GDO's heading out. So next on the list for these guys is uh, Minky Jongo, and Minky Jongo is an easy one because it doesn't require anything. You just walk in a CCL, go kill Minky Jongo, and uh, walk out. While you're in CCL, I mean, the only other thing you might do is grab some notes. Mhm, mm because they're right there. But I definitely, you definitely shouldn't go out of your way. For any notes. No. Yeah, there it is, red again. Good job. Huzzah. And Gogo getting uh kind of whacked by these Klungo potions. Seems like his, uh... Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 what What the heck? Yeah, he's, he's fast! Down. He's fast! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gogo's setting oh, up a Go death warp. Very nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> TDL1 honestly could be put just about anywhere. Um, I The only reason I would say to put it uh, after HFP is so you could collect any notes in HFP, you know, before you head to Taxi Pack. I wonder if Super Baddie makes Minky teleport faster. Probably oh, not. Gosh. What if you, like, can't do the quick kill because he teleports too fast? That would be that'd be awful. We got bad skull for GDO as he had uh, zero chunguses you saw in the bottom right hand corner. Death warp for Gogo was actually pretty smart. I like that. I can't wait to see this. 
I, I, I think it's going to be normal, though. I think everything's going to be normal. Oh, no quick kill for you. It's gonna get the backup quick kill. Very easy fight. Very nice. Meanwhile, Gogo right behind him. Gogo could save some time by getting the good skull here. I'm gonna say he is gonna get the good skull here. <laughs> Dude, it'd be, it'd be so funny if Minky just teleported twice as fast. Oh my gosh. Judio doesn't even pick up the Jiggy. You don't need it. And it is. Oof. Ooh. Bad skull for Gogo. -Go. Although, I think, wow. did he check red first or did he check blue first? He tripped blue first. Okay, yeah. So red skull for both these guys. Mm -hmm. I think Gogo -Go might have gotten green potion first. So I do think these guys' RNG was basically even. Okay. Got some notes here. Some quick ones. Now, does he walk into TDL now? Or does he go to HFP? Probably HFP. Yeah. Now, what did I put in the picture? I think Chili Willy... Then Chili Billy, right? Yes. Uh... Gotta make sure GDO's doing Willy first. The reason for that order is that uh, Chili Willy appears after Chili Billy in the main menu. So we put oh, him okay. first. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, how did you select that? Because, you know, like, it's not like, I don't mm -hmm. know. But you did it by the menu. Makes yeah. sense. Oh, that's a good call, Nade. It is possible so, to do Chili Willy early without grip grab, but it's just a lot harder. So the, the way I figured out how to know which dragon brother was which is that Chili, well, not even really the Billy and the Willy is still kind of hard, but Chili Billy is spelled like Chili, kind of almost like the pepper. Right, with the L-I? Yeah. And it's the... the uh, Billy is also what uh, ends with an I. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. And then, so I just, that's the best way I remembered it. Whereas Chili Willy is spelled L L Y, like, mm -hmm. Chili, I'm cold, yeah. I'm chili. Yes, exactly. It's, it's great insight, Bex. Yeah. Because I always, I mean, even like with when I was really like starting into the mm -hmm. two community, I was always like, how do these people know which one's which? Yeah, now that I'm looking at this. I like GDO's decision to DCW early mm -hmm. rather than come to Clifftop first. Because he needs to come to Clifftop now for HFP. And these these guys are even. They have done the same amount of stuff. No, that's not true. Gogo's got a, uh, a warp pad in JRL that, Gogo, or that GDO doesn't. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, so Gogo, Gogo is ahead pretty decent amount. Now it's going to be interesting, is GDO going to activate the flight pad here? Yeah, I like this play, rather than heading mm -hmm. straight to yeah. to uh, Icy Side. Yeah. Because Gogo's going to have to wait out the timer again when he gets back. Right, yeah. GDO's going to wait right here and fly to Icy Side. Yeah, that's, that saved GDO a good amount of time. Although Gogo -Go did get a bunch of notes that GDO didn't have access to. Yeah, the Globo's nice as well, you're right. Because you need two Globos in GI. Mm -hmm. You need to EMP the Crusher, or EMP the, the Magnet, and... Oh, GDO, no! Okay, good boy. <laughs> I was worried he was going to go for uh, Mr. Willy there. Meanwhile, Gogo's going to show off. You mean Mr. Billy? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Alrighty. 
Kitty. I, I forgot to check GDO's note count. Gogo's at 385, which he's just going to talent torpedo for the 20. Ooh, GDO's a little low. Oh no. Yeah, he is kind of low. Oh, it worked out. Awesome. He yeah, corrected it. It's pretty good. But he was low for a second there. Oh. Grab the safety health. Nice. Now we're going to get to see if uh, Chili Willy <laughs> moves his head fast. With super, or with, uh, yeah, with super baddie. I'm curious to see. Mm, it nah, looks, it looks pretty normal it speed. Looks normal. Boo! That's Wee. boring. It really is, Nade. That, that was another thing that played into that decision was, you know, in the 100% route, or in, in, yeah, in the 100% route, people do Billy first, Willy mm -hmm. second, so. Mm -hmm. It just feels more right to put Willy first here. Gogo -go with the death warp. I guess this makes sense for Gogo. -Go is That was his plan all along, and now all the time it takes to walk back to the flight pad. Right. There's gonna be uh, time he spends waiting out Billy's timer. <laughs> oh, GDO's gonna die too. I added Super Batty because Super Batty sucked for the Snapdragon challenge, and I thought it'd be fun for this challenge. So this picture, Cold Drew like several weeks ago because we were going to do it earlier but Cole's oh, you were going to do it earlier? yeah yikes I'm so glad <laughs> <laughs> well, oh gosh Cole's not available right now so he couldn't edit the pictures so I added Super Batty at the end <laughs> and that little playoffs thing <laughs> because there was a number there before <laughs> he's doing Chili Billy now yeah, go go the first first to get to Chili Billy. Probably has like a minute and a half lead over Gogo -Go right now. <laughs> I'm glad you're impressed, Lionaya. Man, neither of these guys fighting Chili Billy, like, with the same strategy that you'd fight Chili Willy in 100%. Where you, like, you jump over the lava pool. Oh, maybe GDO's gonna do it right here. Nah, he's a wuss. Jump over the lava pool while the tongue's coming towards you, and then flap over it as it comes back. Like, you want to jump over the pool in the same direction that the tongue's going. Because I think the tongue phase ends as the tongue's coming at you from behind. Oh. So you want to like try to minimize the distance that he travels before he doubles back. Gotcha. It's a weird fight. Anyways, both these guys done with Chili Billy. So next on the list is Weldar. And Weldar's going to take some time to get to. Both these guys are gonna need to make a TDL trip for taxi pack, and then they're uh, they're off to GI for probably the longest level in the run. Man, Gogo super overrouted notes. Unless he plans on getting, he might plan on getting claw clamors. You don't need claw clamors, but maybe that's where he's headed. Uh, like, are they functionally the same? Yes. 
whichever dragon you do first, it doesn't matter. They're the same fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gideo's making his way to to GI. He doesn't have taxi pack. Whereas Gogo, with the planning, knows that he needs taxi pack now. He is still collecting notes. So I think we are going to see Claw Clamors from Gogo just to get to floor three more easily. Oh no. Really yeah, the, the second dragon has more health and is faster, but it doesn't matter whether you do Chili Willy first or That's Chili Billy first. Gogo's stream is uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> having trouble, but he'll be. Yeah, he's he's oh, back. Oh, there we are. Oh, close. Maybe. Okay. It's I trying. I think it's uh, Gogo's stream that's the issue. Yeah, probably. But anyways, back to the match. GDO going straight for that floor four early. It's gonna give him access Maybe. to floor three where Mumbo is, and floor two where Wumba is. Hmm, GDO thinking, hmm, I don't have taxi pack. Yeah, he just realized it. <laughs> it was in that moment. He yeah, Sutter, that, that might be a good uh, a thought there. <laughs> Ooh, oh, what the? F try one. Literally, Aaron. Meanwhile, Gogo getting the move that GDO didn't. Is he just death warping here? I guess. I guess. Wait. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, maybe you should get the flight pad just in case. Yeah, he wants to get the flight pad because the warp pad quote unquote is helpful, but he'd have to open the door. Mm -hmm. Like the front door to access the right. warpad down there. So the flight pad mm -hmm. is a lot faster if he wants to get back yeah. to this point. But I think GDO definitely realized he was missing a move. <laughs> yep. So he's all set up for GI2. I'm just gonna check Gogo's stream real quick to make sure that it's him and not me. Okay. GDO heading into Pterodactyl Land and Gogo going into GI. I can't tell because now it's smooth. <laughs> oh, now it is smooth. Yep. But now GDO stream. In that case, it's probably me that's the problem. Oh. I will see. Anyways. Okay, I think it worked itself out. GDO learning uh, springies. Don't need those. But that's just one of your, you know, just in cases. I was going to say, well. Cause, I mean, they can go up to Terry, but you want yeah, to... Yeah, you can do yeah. If you can do Chompa Warp, Chompa Warp, it's obviously better, mm -hmm. but... I wonder if there's a world where in TDL1, instead of doing this route that either of them is doing, you, uh, you do Chompa Warp, mm -hmm. but, like, you, you do it kind of like the new 100% or new any percent no DCW route. Where you go into Chompa's area first, 
Then you take Solo Banjo up to Taxi Pack to learn the move. And then you do Chompa Warp, grab the warp pad up top, and warp back to the entrance. That might be faster than, you know, getting Taxi Pack and leaving immediately. Because they have to come back for Terry. Yeah. Anyways, no Sunder. We're not going to see a second break in from GDO because he hit the flight pad. Yeah. So he can make his way straight to floor three. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Gogo -Go just used claws. Yeah, that was Gogo's -Go's plan all along, which worked out really well for him. Did. All right. Instead of choosing to do four four early. Sorry. Bex, remind yes. us, remind the chat of all the hoops that you have to jump through in order to open Weldar's door. Okay. All of them. If you miss one, then I'm kicking you out. Okay. Well, so Weldar's door. Okay. Well, you have to have split up. And sure. You gotta. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, no. I, I don't know, because I haven't done it in What a is while. literally everything that you have to do in GI? Oh, in GI. Okay, so I don't even have to go as far back as split up. Um, well, you have... Uh, <laughs> okay, well, you have to at some point get a battery with Banjo. Yep. yep, true. And you have to take it, and you have to open the door. True, true, true. I don't true, remember true. what the door is called. Um, it's battery but it's door. In that, it's in the green, slimy room. Yeah. True. Um, so then, then you're gonna need the washing machine. That's right. And you're gonna have to press the button. Oh, you've already the... missed like four steps, dude. Because, first of all, how are you even gonna get up there? There's no way to get up there as a washing machine right now. You gotta make sure that you blow up the grates oh, on the way gosh. from Wumba yes. to the door. Yeah. Okay, so now you're the washing machine. Mm -hmm. And you enter that room, but you can't press the button because there's this big fucking magnet that sucks you up. Oh, I so how do you deal with that? Order. How do so, you yeah. deal with that? No, it's Mumbo first, then then okay. then it's the washing machine. Right. Um. So you get Mumbo, transform, and then you transform back. No, back, whoa, 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 whoa! What are you grabbing Mumbo for? Well, no, I was I was restating that you need to do Mumbo first. I know, but then... what are you what are you taking him to do? He's gotta, he's gotta do the, he's gotta do the, his little dance thingy. But what's he gonna to do the dance on? Stuff. There's no pad there. There's no pad in that room. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta get the pad. You gotta unscrew Yeah, you gotta it, unscrew like the platforms right like Gogo -Go and yeah. GDO just did. Yeah. And that's actually the thing that I forgot in my test run. I got a 137 when I test run, test ran this. And uh -huh. I forgot to unscrew the platform when I took Mumbo gotcha. up there. I just took him up there and I was like, there's, there's nothing here. <laughs> Um, yeah, so don't forget to unscrew that platform. Good on them. Mm -hmm. Then you can take Mumbo in. Then you can <laughs> EMP the, uh, the magnet. Then you take yes. the washing machine in, press the button, and you're good to go. Yes. It's a lot of things. And you forgot all of them, Bex. I know. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I'm gonna let you hang out. Just because I like you. <laughs> so Gogo's taking the battery over... Which battery did Gogo -Go take? Did he take the the one on floor three by Mumbo? Uh, I, uh, I missed that because I was trying to explain. Because <laughs> <you're laughs> I put you on the spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, GDO is going to be making his way towards the battery here on floor two. Mm -hmm. It's just a quick death warp. Is it quicker to die, or is it... That sounded awful. Is it quicker to die, or... <laughs> <laughs> or would it just be faster just to literally jump across and climb up? I feel like dying is probably faster. Really? Because, yeah. like, you still have to, like, go through the whole, like... This little cutscene thing that... Yeah. Oh, well... It's close. Either yeah. way, it's close. But I do think dying is faster. Anyways, look how far back... Just kidding. I was going to say, look how far back GDO stands when he puts the battery in. But then he, like, went all the way up to it. You can actually stand on that pipe. The distance, really? Yeah. Whoa, didn't know that. Uh, look at these strats from GDO. Straight intended. 
Mmm, and see now Gideo's gonna open the grate from the opposite direction. Meanwhile, uh, Gogo using that grate to take Mumbo into the room. And that's uh, plenty of Globos for GDO, so good on him for that. Of course, this is the second Mumbo that these guys have used, so they can do the quick, uh, quick talk to Mumbo from the floor. That's what he sounds like. So at this point, Gogo's ahead, you know, the amount of time that he's ahead in uh, GI, which is probably around a minute and a half, plus another minute because he's already done the swim in JRL. Yeah. And he's, he's already learned, oh, he's, man, he's ahead even further than that, because he's already learned because, uh, yeah. the eggs, underwater egg game, too. One, GDO made the mistake of forgetting two moves. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Gogo's Gogo's on pace for a really fast time. He's played this pretty much perfectly. I even like his choice of uh, going for claws. There's only a hundred extra notes, but it skipped all the time it takes to do floor four early. Is GDO giving it a think? Oh, I, I guess GDO figured out what he had to do next. Meanwhile, Gogo taking the washi over. Mm -hmm. What's the the good time to get here? I don't know. I have no idea. Like on the the timer in the bottom left. Yeah, I don't know. I should pay attention to that. Let's see what Gogo gets here. Forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven. I wonder if, how much better you can do than that if if you can do better than that. I guess you could check like. All the 100% runs because they don't do yeah, anything as a washing lost. machine. If they don't do anything in between EMPing the magnet and taking the washing over. Mm -hmm. Gideo, of course, making his way over to uh, Wumba's metal wigwam. Do you think her pool is hot or cold? <laughs> well, you can see the steam coming out of it. True. Like the mystical steam. I was going to say, but I thought it was more like mystical. Right. It's probably like hot tub <coughs> temperature. Probably. You know? That's what I was thinking. Alright, now Gogo's making his way down to the, the fight. Change the Twitch category? What's it on now? Is it, I thought it's uh, oh. Banjo Tooie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Plus, who's gonna be browsing the hot tub category looking for some titties and then they see this and they're like, you know what? I'm gonna forego my titty viewing and see this instead. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be very many people who do that. Oh, look, there it was. Gogo -Go just literally did it without grip grab. Do you? No, we always do that without grip grab. Yeah, I'm I was crazy. gonna say like when 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 you said or someone said something about grip grab, yeah. I was like, wait, I thought you guys don't even use it for that. But we yeah, do I'm already sure. not use grip grab. Oh, anyways. Yeah, because you just flutter across, mm -hmm. get up halfway to pipe. Here we see Gogo uh, about to fight Weldar. Not in the menu. He's doing it, you know, the real deal. So it's gonna count. Good on him. As uh, GDO makes his way back down to floor one the same way. Oh, 
So where can GDO really catch up time? Because at uh, this point, it's kind of just it's kind of just a rush, a boss that rush. Is, yeah. Um They've got all the moves they need. I mean, GDO still needs to get underwater, but I, I mean, only probably if somebody dies to, if somebody if Gogo dies to a boss. Yeah. I think I agree That's with really you. Really all I'm thinking since this is like you said, this is pretty much like a boss rush. Mhm. Mm so they've got six bosses left, right? Is that right? Uh, Four Terry's level bosses next. and Konga 2. Next. Yeah. Uh, then it's... Backpack? After okay. Terry is Klungo 2. Oh, that's right. Then it's Fackpack. Then it is Fackpack. Then it's Cole. Then it's, then it's Patch. Target. Then it's oh, Cole, oh, then patch, it's Target Dan, yeah. Cole, and then... So there's six. Right? Yes, yeah, six. Okay. Six left. Well, and Weldo. So seven left at this point. Yes. But six left after Weldo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, setting up the Death Warp is 100% the right play here. It might. Oh, go, go. Because this fight is go, go. pretty... What it's easy to die here, I think. It is. Maybe that's why he's at two he health. Be okay. Yeah, Gogo's setting himself to be at two health. Oh, now he's at three. I don't think he meant to. Oh, yeah, he 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 meant to grab that health. Just for no, safety. Oh, well, yeah. Because one, one health was reserved for making that go faster. Oh, go, go, screen, please. Oh, he's dead. So when's Weldar Jam? Do we already have it yet? Uh, no. We don't. Who's in charge? Who am I blaming? I mean, I guess technically. Oh well, no, you don't have the. You don't have the um. FFZ account. I, I gotta tell you, Sundra, that is a stupid-looking emote. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I like. What is he doing? Of course, like, it's Asmi. He's just dancing. Yeah. He's dancing. <laughs> All right, Gogo's dead. Gogo, not a boss though, so it doesn't count. I know that's why. I like you said, Gogo's dead, and I was like, where? Like, what did he <laughs> die to? Then... To himself. Was... Yeah. It's his own, his own hand. But yeah, now he's making his way back to uh, TDL. He doesn't know. Uh, springies, so he's gonna have to get to Terry with a Chompa warp, warp. Yep. or or learn springies. But I feel like Gogo's going for the Chompa warp. Mm -hmm. I think Gogo's gonna try to do it without <laughs> Clockworks at least once, just to show off. Well, and the thing too is that I think he collected notes over by springies earlier, so like yeah, he should have gotten it earlier if he was gonna do springies. Exactly. Yeah, he's making his way to the inside. Yep. Oh, you might be right, Need. Goku, you have double air. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you can swim faster. Is he? S I think he's swimming at double air. Yeah, that looks like double air yep. swimming. I think it is. Anyways, let's see how this Chompa Warp goes. He does have grenades out. I, I think he's just going to do it with the eggs. Yeah. A pretty solid setup if it works. It was. That was really fast. Yeah, that was oh good. Oh my gosh. That was really good from Gogo. -Go. That was so good. What is... Where are you going, GDO? <laughs> Back to TDL. Oh, no, he's going to Clifftop. I think that must have been a misclick. Yeah. Poor Geo. Just slowly getting further and further behind. Oh, I hate that. It's, it's so freaking painful is the silo. Misclicking on the silo. 
Does Terry look like he's flapping faster? Uh, I don't think so. I it looks like he's flapping faster, but not moving faster. But I, it looks that like could he's just... shooting those snot thingies faster. Maybe. I swear that was faster. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The snot thingies may go faster. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, I, I think it's really just placebo. There, but... <laughs> I think Terry was shooting those snotty eggs faster, though. Yeah, that's normal. Gogo's setting up uh, a death Maybe orb. he's not. Oh, don't die here, Gogo. Ooh. Oh, he is flapping faster. He definitely looked like he was flapping he's faster. Not, I don't think he's. I don't think he's moving faster, but he's flapping faster, definitely. Anyways, go uh, GDO taking the uh, the springy shoes route up to the top of the mountain. It is a little bit slower than what Gogo did. Especially now that he's got to walk all the way around the mountain here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, Gogo? Gogo reset his game. Maybe a little too hard. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Marcus. Oh, oh. There it is. oh it's Wait. his capture Wait. card. Oh, okay. Yeah, his, his capture card is giving him real problems right now. But yeah, it was a smart reset out of Terry because uh, mm -hmm. as soon as the screen transitions to a different scene, it saves your Terry kill. So you don't have to watch but the whole cutscene. you didn't save scene. the babies. You didn't save the babies. You know what that means? It means he's fast. It means, it means game over. No, it does not mean game over. <laughs> it would have been game over if you saved the babies. Okay, now we have audio, so we can kind of see what happens on GDO's screen. Oh, he's 100% flapping faster. I, I don't know. He's 100% flapping faster. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if Fak Fak swims faster. Fak Fak swims pretty slow, so we might be able to tell. Yeah, and look at that. He's all freaking Klungo. <laughs> Gogo already got the warp pad, so now he's uh, super far ahead. Mm -hmm. Gonna become the sub. Did he forget uh -oh. something? He did. What'd you forget, buddy? <gasps> did he forget uh, sub aqua game? No, he's got sub aqua. Are you sure? He definitely. Oh, he forgot Klungo 2. Pikachu, good call. Oh. Good call. Yep. So that's the mistake I made. I said fact fact next. Yeah. It's, no, it's not. It's Klungo. Yeah, so I put Klungo 2 at this point in the run because, you know, you would normally do Klungo 2 after JRL and before TDL, so. Little hiccup, so GDO gained a little bit of time. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. He's still pretty far behind. Can't GDO just. Yes, GDO can just reset, reset here. Oh my gosh, GDO, don't watch it! It's not the worst thing in the world because now no, GDO can no. can uh, death warp Just go out. Straight, yeah. So it doesn't lose that much time. Nah, it's just a long cutscene. Mhm. Mm and we all have to be sad because we can't save the babies. They have to be stuck in their eggs. There you go. That cutscene is pretty infuriating. It's long and unnecessarily, it's, yeah, unecessarily long. Like, like, I get it, there's an egg! It would have been one egg. <laughs> well, they if gotta show you where all egg. the eggs are. Yeah. No, it doesn't even show you all of them. It just showed you three of them, I think. It only shows three? Really? Wow. Yeah, I think. Wait. Or maybe it's only two. Yeah, even... Look, the reset might not be worth it, because you need to be in Wasteland anyways. Yeah. To get to Klungo yeah. 2. So maybe GDO's plan was better all along. Yeah, no, I, like, I don't hate this. This is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. It just, that cutscene sucks. But yeah, Gogo's got Blue Potion here. Blue Potion is the hardest one with Super Baddie because you got to chase the Klungos around. That's what I thought. I knew it. I figured it. Sh it only showed two, but you don't need to show two. You just need to show one. Oh, they're so fast! Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> Bex's catchphrase. Look at him. <laughs> uh, look at him. Oh, we get to see it again. Look at that! 
Where is oh. he? Where is he? GDO, this <laughs> shot is tough. Oh, God. Oh, he got him. Oh, he did it. Very nice job. Freaking speed demon. At least there's one boss that speeds up. Yeah. I really hope funny. Cole does, though. Oh my gosh, if Cole <laughs> if he speeds up, I'm gonna lose it. I want somebody to make a hack of Tui so that Super Batty works, but it's like 10 times speed. Oh my gosh. Imagine Target Zan just spinning up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be perfect. Gogo -Go now making his way to uh, Humba in JRL to become the sub. So what does GDO got to do? He's got to learn. Hopefully goes straight to the right. Yeah, good boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten times speed snapdragons. <laughs> they like expose themselves for half a second. Gosh. So your favorite part of the run, Bex? <laughs> I think this is sub. The door costs two, right? Two doubloons. What? Oh. You can repair the door? Never mind. The room oh, yeah. co the room costs two doubloons. Yes, Ring Rush was making a joke two. and I'm just thick headed. Oh. <laughs> Bex, do you know how much a door costs these days? Uh it depends on the type of door. Like the type of wood and how fancy it is. Probably be as low as 80 bucks, all the way up to who knows what, 300 what, maybe or more. What do you think about a door in the exact style, I would shape? I an average door is probably maybe $100. Probably That's maybe. Just, you heard it here first, $100. folks. Yes, they are. Lumber prices are insane right now. Man, I didn't even think that Gogo -Go learned double air. So yeah. like he's he was even further ahead because GDO's yeah, gonna do all this slow sw speed. swimming stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I think double air was a net slower choice. Three hundred seventy-five to a thousand dollars. Hello. Christ. Yikes! That's that's disgusting. All right, let's pay attention to Gogo's screen. Is is fact fact fast? Is he Lord Wu fast fast? Oh, I wait. Oh, Gogo, please just sit still. Oh, he's getting smacked around. I think he is moving. Uh, he always oh, at least bouncing up and down faster. Holy cat, he is faster. He's, he's definitely moving. faster. Yeah, he's moving. He's moving and grooving. I don't know that it's definite. I don't. Maybe he's not faster. Maybe it's it just... is no, but it's not like it's not like super fast. It's just he's just noticeably different. Oh, he's zooming. <laughs> Gogo doesn't even know where he is. Oh my god, look at how fast he goes. Yeah. Oh, that was a good snipe from Gogo. <laughs> I just can't, I can't wait for Cole. That'll be good. <laughs> Alright, GDO is the sub. Now making his way to Fak Fak. Well, Patch, oh, Patch might. I think he he'll slightly kind of like. I think Patch he'll be, like, will be pack miserable. Pack. He'll he'll be he'll be a little bit faster. All right, Gogo -Go is finished with Fact Fact. Can just save quit out of here.
And Gogo is off to uh, patch. GL, GL. <laughs> I don't remember if Gogo learned Airborne Egg game. But I feel like he would have had the foresight too. Um, I think he did. GDO had a. When he went back to get pack what he grabbed. GDO got Airborne Egg game. Yeah. That's the second time, yeah. On Wishy World 2, yeah. Airborne Egg game. I don't know why I keep blanking on that name. Alright, here's GDO's attempt at uh, Lord Wu Fast Fast. He's, he's already turned around. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Good shot from GDO. Oh. Man, this really makes the fight so much harder. Aw, oh, GDO! <laughs> and Gogo looks like he's heading straight into uh, the patch fight. Aw, oh, and GDO got a really bad luck pattern too. Oh, snipe! Oh, that was a good shot. Ooh, those are two good shots. Ooh, he's really close, though. How did he not get hit? How did he not get hit by that? He was literally, like, inside a fact pack and didn't get hit. Alright, I would switch it to uh, Gogo's audio, but he uh, doesn't have any. Dang. Actually, let's see. Let's see if he does. Yeah, he just muted his stream altogether. Patch doesn't look like he's moving faster, question mark? This is a really good patch from Gogo so far. This is a really good patch from Gogo. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He's a little low the lag for this. If patch is moving faster or not. Yeah, me neither. It looks like he's further along. Dang, couldn't even really tell. Yeah, I, th I think Patch did, did move. Because so well. he just moved further. Yeah. And you know, that's the definition of faster, is moving further in the same amount of uh -huh. time. Or... Mm hmm. Mm, Gogo misclicks his uh, silo menu again. It's like 14 seconds. It's miserable. Or. Or no, he just doesn't have the Pine Grove silo still. <laughs> This is an awful. Alright, Gogo's got two bosses left and he's done! So, my ears are paying attention to GDO, but my eyes are paying attention to GoGo -Go for this one. Seem to be moving faster. Uh, he, no, he didn't. Maybe if you. Uh, no, he's like he, in he, the like... same spots. Oh, well, at least we got patch jam. Oh, chat, hit me up with some uh, some patch jams. Thanks, Sunder. 
Yeah, we couldn't. Well, we and we couldn't even tell because just because ice eggs. Oh, I fucked up. Kill them so wow. fast. All right, Goku's got one boss left. Then it's over forever. Oh, G is definitely having a little bit of trouble here. He's, he's got two low ones and two on the face still to do. Or, no, he's got one on the back somewhere. I hope it's not too bad. Because this is going to be a fast patch. Oh! Man, I'm real glad that last grenade hit. Gideo would have had a lot of trouble hitting it. You know what's cool? Actually, you know what's really cool about the way Gideo did this? If he death warps here right now, he goes uh -huh. straight to GGM. I wonder if that's his plan. Oh? Yes? Yeah? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, I like go. this from GDO. That was actually sick. It's a little it's too little too late though. Gogo is yeah. already in Target Zan's temple. Maybe if he dies inside the temple three times, GDO's got a chance. You know, the Magis mm. are going to be faster after all. True. Do you making his way to coal? Gogo's setting up a death warp. I mean, he doesn't need to. Kind of interesting thing that Gogo's been basically exactly one boss ahead <laughs> this yes. whole time. Uh huh. He's gonna be fighting targets in as GDO's finishing up Cole. Target Zan's not faster. Alright, Gogo coming up very close on time here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to get to see it though if, he, <laughs> if his stream stutters too bad. Alright, time's coming up. And... Time! Alright, GG's! Alright, GG's! I'm gonna pull just Gogo and I'll let GDO finish. Yeah. Alright, GG's! GG. I seriously thought that forgetting Konga 2 would cause me to lose there. Yeah, it's okay. Gideo's uh, right behind you, but he mm -hmm. he forgot um, Packwack. Oh no! And had to make another Witchy World trip, and then he forgot Taxi Pack and had mm. to leave GI to go get it. But yeah, good job. Rip. You played really well. You know, minus forgetting Klungo 2 there, you played like pretty perfectly. I thought uh, 
getting Claw Clambers was a really interesting choice that I think worked out really well for you. So good job. It's really for the fact that I didn't have to do floor four early that I did it. Yeah. Like I knew that it would like just be barely even with this with uh -huh. floor four early. So I was like, I'm not gonna chance uh -huh. it. GDO did four four early and he got it first try too. It was pretty yeah. sick. Oh, oh wow. Uh... Yeah, he's in uh he's in the temple now, making his way towards the slightly sacred chamber. What'd you think? What'd oh, you think of uh the, the category? <laughs> I actually really liked it. Only I thought that if a goal were to show up like that, I I would have I would thought that I would think that it would have been like earlier, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Considering well, that it, it's pretty much all ex execution. I'll tell you right now that it was originally going to be challenge number two, and then I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> swapped it. <out. laughs> and I I wanted to put it in the first eight just later, and I just forgot about it. Dango wants to know, Gogo, -Go, which bosses you thought were faster? Because of Super uh, Daddy. Because of, yeah, Super Daddy. I think Patch and Fact Back were slightly faster yeah, as well absolutely. as all yeah. the Klungos. Yeah. What about, uh, Terry? Like, Terry's wings seem to be flapping faster, but mm -hmm. I don't know if we're just crazy. Huh. Wait, really? I mean, you don't get Terry. You don't get Terry. You don't give the time to Terry for to actually move, so I wouldn't actually know since it's pretty easy to hit anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, GDO is fighting targets in now, and yeah, if you uh, if you collect twenty relics, then whichever door you enter first will be the slightly sacred chamber. Yep. So no skipping it, unfortunately. No. Yeah, it's. I find it funny that this question comes up uh, uh, about mm -hmm. every single time that people do targets and in bingos or in challenges like that. Mm -hmm. All right, Chidio's only got four Chunguses left till he's done. Looks like he's. You both beat my time. My time was like a one thirty-seven. Oh, nice. Yeah, I definitely think All that. Right, GG. All I right. definitely think. Hold on, let me pull him in. GG. Okay, wow. sounds good. All right, GGs. Good job, GDO. GGs. GGs. So, uh, go go with a one thirty three something, right? One thirty three fourteen. Yeah. And yep. GDO finishing with a one thirty six forty nine. Good job, guys. It's like a forty. Yeah, GG. But... <laughs> GG. So, uh, comments? I forgot too many moves. You did, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you almost won when Gogo swam all the way to... Well, he swam like halfway into Humba Wumba's tunnel uh, before he realized he hadn't done Klungo 2. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but when he was doing Fact Fact? He was about like, to do Fact Fact, yeah. yeah. So what'd yeah. you think of the challenge? <laughs> what'd you think of Super Baddy? <laughs> I think Super Baddie, did you know it doesn't really affect any of the bosses except Klungo? Well, it and... definitely affects Fak Fak. Yeah. It almost certainly affects Patch. You didn't feel it? It no. definitely. Uh, I, I, definite I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't feel it against Patch, but that would explain why my cycle was off. Yeah. I, I wasn't because I went up to shoot and I was like, "Am I that bad at these bosses?" <laughs> I didn't notice Fact Fact was swimming faster oh, either yeah, because I was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice. I was just missing so many of my shots. Yeah. And I got like the worst RNG, so I was already tilted. I just didn't <laughs> even notice. I was hoping Super Betty would affect a lot more bosses, and it didn't. Yeah. But I, it's still yeah. fun. I mean, like, when I when I was it, going it, through. Did you guys see me stop when I was climbing up the yes. elevator shaft yes. in GI? Well, like, yep, the, he, that he stop was he like, wait. Pa taxi pack. Yeah, yeah, I was like, wait. But then I was like, well, it's not that bad because uh -huh. I would have had to death warp anyway. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only one I was really angry about was missing uh, Pack Whack. Yeah. yeah. That was definitely a long yeah. tour. I had already planned on going through uh, GGM to go to Patch. Yeah, I liked so. that. That was sick. You definitely so I was, GGM. yeah. So 
not getting uh not getting airborne eggs wasn't that big of a deal mm -hmm. but yeah i was like i was i was right there and i was like man i forgot airborne eggs and then at, yeah. when i was fighting hag one i was like <laughs> oh man, I have to go back for pack whack too. <laughs> we were taking bets in the chat whether you would uh, realize you needed to go back or you'd try to make the jump without oh, yeah. pack whack. I, I, knew, I knew like every single time uh -huh. I missed a move. Yeah. I, the taxi pack one was a little bit late because I was too busy just going through all my... Uh, I was doing the autopilot, you know, Mingy, Billy, Willy. Like, right. Yeah. Anything for them. Yeah. One of I would say that the the one that I probably forgot almost forgot is probably Rego Blaster because I was like uh, as first I was like all right I'm gonna save that move for later right before targets done but then I was like wait <laughs> I can't oh, yeah, I got it right that. away I got it I got it right away and then just like jumped down and collected all my notes. Mm -hmm. All right, well. uh... Yeah, Congratulations. That's what I did. Congratulations, Gogo, -Go on that win. You're going to move to the uh, the final final, the grand finals. Determine the ultimate BTCSer. Uh, GDO, you're going to move on to the third place match. Oh, bye. Now, you oh, guys boy. are going to be. Huh? Oh, it's so. I just said, oh boy. Gogo, -Go, of course, you're going to be playing against the winner of tomorrow's match between Emo and iCup and GDO, the loser. Um. Tomorrow, don't know what time specifically yet. I still need to hear word from iCup. Um, but it's probably going to be like around 7, 8, 9 o'clock-ish. It'll be a fun one. Um, so hope you guys stay tuned for that one. Um, but for now, this race is included. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks, racers. Thanks, Bex, for You're coming to commentate. Well. Um, no problem. And thanks, everybody in the chat, for watching. I'll see you guys later.